in front of me now, I have all of my brass that I use for my 224 Valkyrie. Uh, in each bag that you see in front of you, the brass is at either a different stage in how many times it was fired, uh, difference between whether it's clean, dirty, ready to load, needs annealing, so on and so forth. Um, right now, I've got these three bags here that are only once fired. These two bags are twice fired. These two bags are twice fired with an oops mixed in there. So I always like to keep things separate and properly and thoroughly labeled so I know exactly what's going on with that brass. Uh, this one here, I had the die set up uh, wrong where the shoulder bump was too much. Um, so that brass, I'm going to wait until I have the recipe figured out that I know that I'm going to load and I will just use that as, uh, just a whatever shot, uh, just to get that brass fired and get it reformed so that I can have the proper shoulder bump on it. Uh, so these two bags are twice fired. This bag here is three times fired and I'm going to just leave that alone. I'm going to pull it off to the side. I'm not even going to use it at this point. Um, I don't like having brass at too many different variables, uh, especially in regards to differences in how many times it's been fired because once fired brass versus three times fired brass might have uh, inconsistencies due to uh, primer pockets wearing out, not being tight anymore, um, weakness within the brass itself. Uh, there, there's just a couple of different variables and I like to just keep everything as close to the same keel as possible. So I'm actually not even gonna be using the twice fired stuff either. So we'll put that off to the side. Now, in regards to the one time fired brass, I have this bag here that is ready to load. It's already been primed with the CCI BR4 Bentress primers. So I will be using that with my BLC2 loads. This bag here is dirty brass it's just been shot once so that it's fire formed and this big here is all cleaned resized trim the length deburred all that stuff the only step left is that it needs annealing and the reason that i know this stuff is because i take a piece of paper right on it the best description that i can so that when i look at this stuff you know six months down the road I know what has been done and what needs to be done to get this brass completed in the process that I like to do before I shoot. With all that being said, these two bags, you've got stuff that's been through all the machining process except for annealing, and this bag needs the entire process, including the annealing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start working on the dirty brass and get it caught up to the clean and ready to anneal stuff. And then I'll run it all through the annealing machine at once. That way I don't have to do the same operation in two different setups. I like to do everything all at once whenever I can. 